The following message is transmitted at the request of the Texas Department of Public Safety. This is a child abduction alert issued by the Texas Amber Alert Network. The Fairview Police Department is searching for Haley Jondoni, white, female, 14 years old, 5 feet 4 inches tall, 170 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt and camouflage leggings. Police are looking for an unknown suspect in connection with her abduction. The suspect is driving an unknown vehicle. The victim was last seen at 6 p.m. on December 18, 2021 on the 100 block of Stonehenge Drive, Fairview, Texas. Law enforcement officials believe this child to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call the Fairview Police Department at 972-886-4211. Transmitted at the request of the Texas Department of Public Safety. This is a child abduction alert issued by the Texas Amber Alert Network. The Fairview Police Department is searching for Haley Jondoni, white, female, 14 years old, 5 feet 4 inches tall, 170 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt and camouflage leggings. Police are looking for unknown suspect in connection with her abduction. The suspect is driving an unknown vehicle. The victim was last seen at 6 p.m. on December 18, 2021 on the 100 block of Stonehenge Drive, Fairview, Texas. Law enforcement officials believe this child to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call the Fairview Police Department at 972-886-4211. Northwest winds 5 miles. is transmitted at the request of the Texas Department of Public Safety. This is a child abduction alert issued by the Texas Amber Alert Network. The Fairview Police Department is searching for Haley Jondoni, white, female, 14 years old, 5 feet 4 inches tall, 170 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt and camouflage leggings. Police are looking for an unknown suspect in connection with her abduction. The suspect is driving an unknown vehicle. The victim was last seen at 6 p.m. on December 18, 2021 on the 100 block of Stonehenge Drive in Fairview, Texas. Law enforcement officials believe this child to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call the Fairview Police Department at 972-886-4211. The Fairview Police Department is searching for Haley Jondoni, white, female, 14 years old, 5 feet 4 inches tall, 170 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt and camouflage leggings. Police are looking for an unknown suspect in connection with her abduction. The suspect is driving an unknown vehicle. The victim was last seen at 6 p.m. on December 18, 2021 on the 100 block of Stonehenge Drive in Fairview, Texas. Law enforcement officials believe this child to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call the Fairview Police Department at 972-886-4211. is transmitted at the request of the Texas Department of Public Safety. 
This is a child abduction alert issued by the Texas Amber Alert Network. The Fairview Police Department is searching for Haley Giandoni, white, female, 14 years old, 5 feet 4 inches tall, 170 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt and camouflage leggings. Police are looking for unknown suspect in connection with her abduction. The suspect is driving an unknown vehicle. The victim was last seen at 6 p.m. on December 18, 2021 on the 100 block of Stonehenge Drive, Fairview, Texas. Law enforcement officials believe this child to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call the Fairview Police Department at 972-886-4211. This is a child abduction alert issued by the Texas Amber Alert Network. The Fairview Police Department is searching for Haley Giandoni, white, female, 14 years old, 5 feet 4 inches tall, 170 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and last seen wearing a gray sweatshirt and camouflage leggings. Police are looking for unknown suspect in connection with her abduction. The suspect is driving an unknown vehicle. The victim was last seen at 6 p.m. on December 18, 2021, on the 100 block of Stonehenge Drive, Fairview, Texas. Law enforcement officials believe this child to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call the Fairview Police Department at 972-886-4211. This is a test from the State of Idaho Emergency Alert System. In the event of an emergency, this system would bring you important information. This test was conducted from the Bannock County Dispatch Office in Pocatello, Idaho, and is now concluded. Civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Connecticut, all of District of Columbia, all of Delaware, all of Florida, all of Georgia, all of Indiana, all of Kentucky, all of Massachusetts, all of Maryland, all of Maine, all of Michigan, all of North Carolina, all of New Hampshire, all of New Jersey, all of New York. All of Ohio, all of Pennsylvania, all of Rhode Island, all of South Carolina, all of Virginia, all of Vermont, and all of West Virginia beginning at 11.01 a.m. and ending at 12.01 p.m. Test message pause open cap EAS feed configuration test message. A civil authority has issued a required weekly test for Connecticut, District of Columbia, Delaware, Florida, Georgia, Indiana, Kentucky, Massachusetts, Maryland, Maine, Michigan, North Carolina, New Hampshire, New Jersey, New York, Ohio, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, South Carolina, Virginia, Vermont, and West Virginia, beginning at 11.01 a.m. December 20, 2021 and ending at 12.01 p.m. December 20, 2021. Test message IPA, WS, open cap EAS feed configuration test message. A civil authority has issued a required weekly test for Alabama, Arkansas, Iowa, Illinois, Kansas, Louisiana, Minnesota, Missouri, Mississippi, North Dakota, Nebraska, Oklahoma, South Dakota, Tennessee, Texas, and Wisconsin, beginning at 12 p.m. December 20, 2021, and ending at 1 p.m. December 20, 2021. 
test message IPA WS open cap EAS feed configuration test message. This is the required weekly test for the Kansas Division of Emergency Management. The only action required by recipients in the state of Kansas is to log this test. A civil authority has issued a required weekly test for Arizona, Colorado, Idaho, Montana, New Mexico, Utah, and Wyoming, beginning at 1 p.m. December 20, 2021, and ending at 2 p.m. December 20, 2021. Test message IPA, WS, open cap EAS feed configuration test message. A civil authority has issued a required weekly test for California, Nevada, Oregon, and Washington, beginning at 2 p.m. December 20, 2021, and ending at 3 p.m. December 20, 2021. Test message IPA, WS, open cap EAS feed configuration test message. California, all of Nevada, all of Oregon, and all of Washington beginning at 11 a.m. and ending at 12 p.m. Test message e pause open cap EAS feed configuration test message. The following message is transmitted at the request of the Texas Department of Public Safety. This is a child abduction alert issued by the Texas Amber Alert Network. The San Antonio Police Department is searching for Lena Sardar Kill, white, female, 3 years old, 4 feet tall, 55 pounds, brown hair, brown eyes, and wearing a black jacket, red dress, and black shoes. Has straight shoulder length hair that was last seen in a ponytail. The victim was last seen at 5 p.m. on December 20, 2021 in the 9400 block Fredericksburg Road, San Antonio, Texas. Law enforcement officials believe this child to be in grave or immediate danger. If you have any information regarding this abduction, call the San Antonio Police Department at 210-207-7660. National Weather Service in Miami has issued a severe thunderstorm warning for central Miami-Dade County in southeastern Florida until 11.30 a.m. At 11.07 a.m., a severe thunderstorm was located over Key Biscayne, moving east at 30 miles an hour. Hazard, 60 miles an hour wind gusts. Source, radar indicated. Impact, expects damage to roofs, siding, and trees. Locations impacted include Miami, Miami Beach, Key Biscayne, Virginia Key and Fisher Island. For your protection move to an interior room on the lowest floor of a building. Faded runoff and overflowing streams. Urban areas may receive more significant flooding and property damage due to rapid runoff. Additional details, recent rainfall has produced nearly saturated conditions, especially over windward slopes of the Big Island. A passing upper disturbance is expected to produce additional heavy showers and thunderstorms that could lead to flash flooding this afternoon and tonight. The highest flood risk will be across windward slopes, though heavy rainfall could affect the entire island. You should monitor later forecasts and be prepared to take action should flash flood warnings be issued. Here we go.
7 p.m. Central to Taylor Weather Radio Warning Alarm Report System Summer Central Louisiana and Central Kentucky during the Tuesday for tonight's weather situation. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Automatically active. And now the extended outlook for the period of Wednesday to Monday. No hazardous weather is expected at this time. Other information on only can water activation for from 6 p.m. and 7 p.m. local time. 6 p.m. and every winter time weather conditions across the north central Kentucky and south central Indiana or exist in some of the winter areas. It was clear it was postponed and the temperature was 47 degrees and the 2.33. A civil authority has issued a required monthly test for Missouri beginning at 12.06 a.m. December 22, 2021 and ending at 1.06 a.m. December 22, 2021. 
The following is a statewide monthly test of the emergency alert system originating from the Missouri State Highway Patrol in Jefferson City and coordinated with the local broadcasters in your community. This is only a test. And here goes that 550 channel. KCMQ going. Whoa! Nebraska Blue Alert. The following is a test of the emergency alert system. This is a monthly test of the emergency alert system for broadcast stations and cable systems of Nebraska in cooperation with the FCC and other government authorities. Equipment is being tested that can quickly provide warnings during emergencies. If this had been an actual emergency, official information, news, or instructions would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Okay, really? Really? You send a monthly for Nebraska as a blue alert? A monthly test for Nebraska as a blue alert? What are you people thinking? This is a coordinated monthly test of the broadcast and cable stations in your area. Equipment that can quickly warn you during emergencies is being tested. If there has been an actual emergency, official messages will follow this alert tone. This concludes our test of the emergency alert system. The Talk of Pittsburgh, 1320 WJAS, is conducting a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. This has been a test of the emergency alert system on the Talk of Pittsburgh, 1320 WJAS. This was only a test.
system allows people with a same equipped with the radio to be notified of watches and or warnings affecting only the county desired. For more information regarding Mel Weather Radio, contact the National Weather Service at 13701 Fang Drive, Jacksonville, Florida, 32218, or call 1-904-741-4370. You can also visit our website at weather.gov slash jacks. This concludes the weekly test of Mel Weather Radio Station KHP 39. Standard time. This afternoon, northwest winds 15 to 25 knots becoming west. Mostly sunny. Winds 3 to 5 feet subsiding to 2 to 4 feet. Winds are Boston and Pittsburgh. Tonight, west winds 15 to 20 knots becoming southwest 5 to 15 knots. Mostly clear in the evening, then becoming mostly cloudy. Waves 2 to 4 feet subsiding to 1 foot or less. Boston and Pittsburgh, right on the ice. South winds 10 to 15 knots, becoming southwest 15 to 20 knots. Mostly cloudy. Waves 2 feet or less. Thursday night, southwest winds 5 to 15 knots. Mostly cloudy. Waves 2 feet or less. The water temperature off the window is 38 degrees, off Cleveland 43 degrees, and off Erie 41 degrees. The following lake shore observations were taken at 10 a.m. Winds at Toledo were from the west northwest at 11 knots. Winds at Camp Perry were from the west at 15 knots. Winds at Marblehead were from the west at 16 knots. Winds at South Bat Island were from the northwest at 20 knots. And it's Sterling, Virginia, right on the dot. Winds at your on right were from the west northwest at 16 knots. Sterling, Virginia, right on the dot. Seven knots. Winds at Cleveland Blake Front were from the west northwest at 22 knots. The water temperature off the is 30 right degrees. Off Cleveland, 43 degrees. And off here, 41 degrees. At 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, December 22nd, the water level at Toledo was 33 inches above chart data. On the latest weather map, high pressure builds in later today and tonight. The next fast approaching area of low pressure will pull a warm front through the region late Thursday into Friday. Another cold front will sweep through the area late on Saturday. The Lake Erie short-term marine forecast within 5 nautical miles from shore. Small craft advisory in effect until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This afternoon, Charleston, West Virginia. Becoming west. Mostly sunny. Waves 3 to 5 feet subsiding to 2 to 4 feet. Waves occasionally around 6 feet. Tonight, west winds 15 to 20 knots becoming southwest 5 to 15 knots. And I believe that was mostly Miami, Florida. Then more. becoming mostly cloudy. Waves 2 to 4 feet subsiding to 1 foot or less. The current time is 11.03 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. This is no weather radio KHP 97 originating from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in Cleveland. We supply the latest Indianapolis. For North Central Ohio over station KHP 97 in Bellevue on the frequency of 162.400 megahertz. On the latest weather map, high pressure will swing later today and tonight. The next fast approaching area of low pressure will pull a warm front through the region late Thursday into Friday. Another cold front will sweep through the area late on Saturday. The short term marine forecast within five nautical miles from shore. Small craft in effect until 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. This afternoon, Northwest Winds 25 Dutch becomes west. Mostly sunny. Waves 3 to 5 feet subsiding to 2 to 4 feet. Waves occasionally around 6 feet. Tonight, West Winds 15 to 20 knots becoming southwest 5 to 15 knots. Mostly clear in the evening, and then becoming mostly cloudy. And that is up to because I see weather pros radio is just one off. At 11 a.m., weather reports for selected cities at Cleveland Hopkins Airport Snow Flurries. Yeah, just as expected, there goes Riverhead. Now I will switch it to 435. Service owners at 
over New York City. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers will be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service at 11 a.m. Eastern Standard. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and especially the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This severe will be particularly more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, which can sometimes occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. To provide the most consistent and dependable warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated for emergency dispatches and warnings for the following few weeks. That was probably you, man. Yeah, I did. Yeah, I That's probably forward. Cleveland. It's Cleveland. Charleston, South Carolina. Stop. 
And now it's state college time. test. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA weather radio public warning system. Specially built receivers are activated by the signal to warn of severe weather or other hazards. Tests are normally conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon and again between 6 and 8 p.m. If severe weather is expected on Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the next day, weather permitting. Reception of this broadcast and especially the warning signals, can vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can result even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. Warning alarm tones are activated on transmitters for counties where the signal is reliably received, in sufficient strength for consistent and dependable service. For station KIH 26 in Daytona Beach, warning alerts will be activated for Volusia, Flagler, Putnam, Lake, Seminole, Brevard, and Orange Counties. For station KIH 63 in Orlando, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Lake, Orange, Osceola, Polk, Seminole, and Volusia Counties. For station WXJ70 in Melbourne, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Indian River, Orange, and Osceola counties. For station WWF69 in Fort Pierce, warning alerts will be activated for Indian River, Martin, Okeechobee, and St. Lucie counties. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Public Warning System. We now return to the regular broadcast program. Palestine and Chattanooga. There's Jackson, Kentucky, test number two. Hamilton, Mary, Smith, Drake, Monroe, Polk, Marine, Young, and Fake 
Fake Athens. Okay, that must be. Yep, here goes Grand Rapids. Wilmington, Ohio, and Detroit, Michigan. Wally, North Carolina. Detroit. 
Here goes Northern Indiana. Thank you. 
At Sandy Hook, the air temperature was 42 degrees. The winds were from the northwest at 18 knots. The water temperature was 45 degrees. At entrance to New York Harbor, buoy 44065, winds were northwest at 21 knots. At Barnett, get buoy. Sea temperature 51 degrees. Wave height 5 feet. Wave period 4 seconds. The current time is 11.32 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. The following river states data is for recreational use only. For the Delaware River at Regalsville, the observed stage was 4.82 feet at 7 a.m. Wednesday. The forecast stage is 4.8 feet at 7 a.m. Thursday. For the Delaware River at Trenton, the observed stage was 9.65 feet at 7 a.m. Wednesday. The forecast stage is 9.6 feet at 7 a.m. Thursday. Here is the regional weather forecast. For the beaches of northeast New Jersey, rest of today, mostly sunny and windy. Highs in the mid-40s. Temperature falling into the lower 40s this afternoon. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gusts up to 40 miles per hour this afternoon. Tonight, mostly clear and windy, cooler with lows in the upper 20s. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 miles per hour. Thursday, sunny. Highs around 40. West winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. There's Tallahassee. <laughs> There goes Mount Holly. There goes Mount Holly. Tallahassee test. 
The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the Bahali Bahali testing right now. areas in, in near central yeah. and southern New Jersey, Burlington, Mercer, Middlesex, Monmouth, Ocean, Somerset, and Union, including the coastal waters from Sandy Hook to Little Egg Inlet out 40 nautical miles, Raritan Bay, Sandy Hook Bay, and New York Harbor. This concludes the weekly Test of No Weather Radio on Hazards. Station WXM60 in South Earth, Powell Township, New Jersey. Thank you for listening to No Weather Radio on Hazards. There's the WSK I'm Richard Ross reporting on behalf of your National Weather Service. We will now return to regular programming. Good morning, Richard. 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 Here goes Blacksburg.
Okay, Lewis. Memphis, Tennessee. That is Green Bay. Thank you. 
Lacrosse, Wisconsin. And Lincoln, I hear. Lincoln and Lacrosse. Midland, Texas. I think that's Shreveport, and it's Houston, Texas. Arkansas. Yep. 
Omaha, Nebraska, Nashville, Tennessee.
Makeup of Paducah's test. Well, people have failed their test. This is a test of knowing whether radio is warning. WJ1 sending Paducah's test. Potentially dangerous weather situation. Special field receivers are yep. automatically activated to warn of impending hazards. When there is a threat of or existing severe weather, the test is postponed until the first available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and the warning alarm will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, may occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. The warning alarm will be activated for warnings in selected watches affecting locations in portions of West Kentucky, Southeast Missouri, Southern Illinois, Southwest Indiana, and Northwest Tennessee. This concludes this test of Noah Weather Radio's warning device. We now return to our regular programming.
provide the most consistent warning service possible, the warning alarm will be activated only for warnings to selected watches affecting the following counties, in El Paso, Huntington, Otero, and Doña Ana. The transmitter for this station is located on Franklin Mountain in El Paso, Texas, and broadcasts on a frequency of 162.475 MHz, with a power output of 100 watts. If an outage of this transmitter should occur, some residents of the area may access important weather information by tuning to the Las Cruces NOAA weather radio transmitter, WXL91, broadcasting on a frequency of 162.400 MHz. Again, the proceeding has been a test of the NOAA weather radio alarm system. Now here is the haze. Mostly cloudy with snow showers likely. Highs in the 30s. Lows 10 to 20. Chance of snow 70%. Monday and Monday night, mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of snow showers. Highs in the 30s. Mostly cloudy with a 50% chance of Friday night, mostly cloudy, cloudy, There's Rapid City, South Dakota. Thank you. 
Finally, Milwaukee. Forty-five miles per hour. Where? Gore and Elk Mountains, and Central Mountain Valleys and Northwest Hemwan Mountains. When? From 11 a.m. Thursday to 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time Saturday. Impacts. Travel could be very difficult to impossible. Patchy blowing snow could significantly reduce visibility. Gusty winds could bring down tree branches. A detailed map of the snowfall can be found at www.gov slash scooter. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food, and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. The latest road conditions for the state you are calling from can be obtained by calling 511. For Eastern Utah and Western Colorado, here is the latest weather synopsis. After the dry and quiet weather day today, scattered showers of rain and snow will develop on Thursday as the first in a series of storm systems begins to push into Eastern Utah and Western Colorado. Precipitation will become more widespread on Friday before decreasing on Saturday as the system moves out to the east. Significant snow will impact travel in the mountains with rain and snow at lower elevations. Call 511 for the latest road conditions before setting out and plan accordingly. Snow will increase again late Saturday into Sunday as the next system moves in. Now for the national weather. There goes Riverton, Wyoming. The Central Colorado River Basin, including Glenwood Springs and Carbondale. Rest of today, mostly sunny. Highs 35 to 45. This is the National Weather Service in Riverton, Wyoming. Milwaukee is on the naughty list. <laughs> During potentially dangerous weather situations, special fuel receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazards. They tested late. They tested late. There's Albuquerque. Albuquerque. Warning or emergency message. This test will be 
conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon, except when hazardous weather threatens. The test will then be postponed until the first fair weather day. Once again, this has been a test of the NOAA weather radio warning device. We now return to normal programming. San Francisco.
This is the weekly test of the NOAA weather radio warning device. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers will automatically activate to warn of impending weather hazards. The weekly test of the NOAA weather radio warning alarm will normally be conducted by the National Weather Service on every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If severe weather is occurring or possible, the test will be postponed to the next good weather day. The warning alarm is activated for weather warnings and selected watches, hazards and special non-weather events that affect the following counties, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara, Ventura and Los Angeles counties and adjacent coastal waters. This is the National Weather Service office in Anchorage. The preceding signal was a test of the weather radio station West North G6714 public warning system. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. each Wednesday. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed until the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast and especially the warning alarm tone will vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for watches and warnings in the broadcast area. This concludes the weekly test of the weather radio station West North G6714. Low test. The preceding signal was a test of the NOAA weather radio public warning system. Specially built receivers are activated by the signal to warn of severe weather or other hazards. Tests are normally conducted each Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon and again between 6 and 8 p.m. If severe weather is expected on Wednesday, the test will be postponed until the next day, weather permitting. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning signals, can vary at any given location. This variability, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can result even though you are using a good quality receiver in perfect working order. 
Warning alarm tones are activated on transmitters for counties where the signal is reliably received. Insufficient strength for consistent and dependable service. For station KIH 26 in Daytona Beach, warning alerts will be activated for Volusia, Flagler, Putnam, Lake, Seminole, Brevard, in Orange Counties. For station KIH 63 in Orlando, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Lake, Orange, Osceola, Polk, Seminole, and Volusia Counties. For station WXJ70 in Melbourne, warning alerts will be activated for Brevard, Indian River, Orange, and Osceola counties. For station WWF69 in Fort Pierce, warning alerts will be activated for Indian River, Martin, Okeechobee, and St. Lucie counties. This has been a test of the NOAA Weather Radio Public Warning System. We now return to the regular broadcast program. Ultraviolet index forecast for December 23rd is 3, or moderate. This is the National Weather Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K East C55. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard.
tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bosque, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Urath, Hill, Hood, Johnson, Parker, Somerville, Tarrant, and Wise. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C-55. Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station K East C-56. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Collin, Dallas, Denton, Ellis, Hill, Hood, Hunt, Kaufman, Parker, Rockwall, and Tarrant. This concludes the test of weather radio station K East C-56. Service Office in Fort Worth. The preceding signal was a test of the public warning system for weather radio station West XK35. During potentially dangerous weather situations, specially built receivers can be automatically activated by the signal to warn of the impending hazard. Tests of the signal and receiver's performance are normally conducted by the National Weather Service each Wednesday between 10 a.m. and noon and between 6 and 8 p.m. If there is a threat of severe weather, the test will be postponed to the next available good weather day. Reception of this broadcast, and especially the warning alarm tone, will vary at any given location. This variation, normally more noticeable at greater distances from the transmitter, can occur even though you are using a good quality receiver in good working order. The warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous watches and warnings for the following counties, Bell, Bosque, Coriel, Falls, Hill, Limestone, McLennan, Milam, and Robertson. This concludes the test of weather radio station West XK35.
Civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Virginia beginning at 11.28 a.m. and ending at 12.28 p.m. A required weekly test has been issued for all Virginia. Tune to your local TV or radio station. Happy Holidays. Here's your Monway Community Forecast. Issued 3.30 a.m. Thursday. High surf advisory for east facing shores.